The oxygen atmosphere generating system is no longer functioning. Product failure is imminent. Not my fault. Is this gonna kill me? Oh, I just straight up can't go through it. Hmm. Now that we have the twisted metal, maybe we use that to open these closed power cells? Maybe if it... No. No, that won't work. I can try to make it fit, but it may break. No. In here. Shapeless Maw of the Unlit Void. Alright, what if I try and interact with this power right pad? Now. This isn't gonna work. Alright, none of that. Um, what about this weird gate thing? This metal? No? Hmm. What am I missing now? Hmm. These don't go well together. I need to use my data it with something? It doesn't work like that. We've got this power pad, but it's out. Can I take the elevator? No. What if I try doing mm. stuff to this power pad? Probably not a good idea. These don't go well together. We can use our items. Pistol in the That's sink. That's just crazy. Uh, although, mm, no, crazy. 
Like, what is this? I would assume it's going on the blue line, but I don't know, man. I don't see any, like, visual indicator of where this power pad is doing anything. This is fucking... The fucking random monster screams. Least favorite ambiance, I tell you what. I don't think that'll work. Hmm, maybe. Yeah, no. Oh. Yeah! Definitely knew to do that! Sure, that makes sense. Yeah, sometimes... Sometimes the puzzle solution's just a little more finicky than I would prefer. I... N nothing really indicated that was an option until I just button mashed. So... Cool. Aliens? They're almost human. Especially their eyes. Don't get too close. What the fuck? I taught this in my history class. All of this research will be lost. Does that mean that this was for nothing? For nothing. I feel like one of these will kill me, so I, I want to save after s most of these dialogues. Bone mending glue. That's ominous. Oh, this is so fucked up. The, uh, the creatures created. Is this gonna be Dr. Hagel? No. Oh. Right. Dr. Charlotte. Williams. Oh, Francis. I'm still lie awake at night thinking of you. You haunt my dreams, my nightmares, and my fantasies. We found love, dear. Even when we worked in Kane Sydney Lab, creating viral strains that could turn a human inside out. We loved, we made love. Ours was a match made in heaven. We worked on only the most exciting viruses and pathogens. Our works together was a Mozart requiem, a piece of perfection. My work now is a pale imitation of what it once was. Oh, Francis. How long ago was it now? It must have been ten years. But it feels like only yesterday. You were too sick to transfer to the Groom Lake while I did. You died just as I took up my post. But don't fret, my angel. I begun concocting a way of bringing you back to life. I always called you, my little Frankenstein. Do you remember? Shedding the boundary between life and death was always your ultimate goal. Well, now, with Project C entering its second phase, my plans can finally be put into practice. 
yeah, she's, uh, interesting. Ah, yes, we made horrible, awful viruses that killed so many people. Wasn't that, wasn't that great? We can be the dream duo again, the dream team. The laboratories are off limits between 2 a.m. and 4 a.m. So that's when I work. Naturally, I prepared all of the calculations and machine settings in my quarters. I keep the subject under a false name in one of the pods. So far, not even Dr. Milan knows what I'm doing. Each major laboratory the operation I perform takes no more than an hour. And I always erase the machine records at the end of each run. I'm using your DNA, my darling. With the enhanced regenerative abilities of the genetic material we've already synthesized for C, you will be reborn, but you'll be impervious to phys physical degeneration, immune to sickness and pain. I'll have done what you have wanted and made you perfect. And when you step healthy, unblemished, reconstituted from your glass wound, you'll never leave me again. Things have felt strange today. Work continues, but I swear, darling Francis, I can feel you watching me. I'm trying to work longer hours to complete the new and reborn you, but it's not easy. Marvin has already had a look at some of my work, I'm sure, as if he'd have any concept of what I'm trying to achieve anyway. I still wonder, my darling, what you cursed me as you died. You know it was an accident. You know you remember that. It wasn't murder. I never committed a murder. Not even when we tested that pathogen on those troublesome neighbors. It was an experiment. How are we supposed to know as they choked to death on their own innards? I suppose death was a possibility, but that's science. I fear for your continued life. I'm afraid Milan knows. Who else knows? Have they contaminated you? I will run extra tests to make sure your code is not flawed or altered in any way. Nature's have started scratching my arms badly. This way, I may end up looking like that leprous toad Beckman. Oh, my dearest Francis, I have failed you. Milan knows. He has confronted me about it directly. He wants me to make you just like them. I cannot have you crawling on all fours like some dog in the street. The very idea offends me. I will protect you with my life. You will be reborn. I swear it on my life. It's always nice when someone enjoys what they do. Yeah, especially when what they they enjoy is bringing back to life the person they loved through horrible human experimentation. Yay. Man, I am just dreading how we're going to find our daughter now. I feel like I'm not sure this is going to be a game with a happy ending. Um, well, that guy looks like they're having a time. We got a little jam going on. He's just like... Alright. 
Oh, we got some Dr. Milan. The new year begins. The wheel turns and the groom light continues to lead the vanguard of scientific discovery for all of humankind. But I feel dissatisfied. Even as the peons who work under me celebrate the new year, I wonder why. Why would you celebrate such an asinine concept as the outdated Gregorian calendar on a ship that's currently swimming through the depths of space? The reason is clear, comfort. They fear the unknown, the alien, the impossible. I do not. I embrace the unforgiving cosmos with open arms. The problem with the research we do is the humans do it. Constrained as they are by conscience, remorse, and sometimes even fear. We try to grasp the infinite, give it a framework that ill fits its cosmic splendor. This is my tenth year as Special Projects Director for the Kane Corporation. Despite my discoveries and quests for knowledge, I'm held back at every turn by paperwork, moralizing scientists, that group of degenerate toadies I sit on the board with. If I were to get rid of them, then my word would be a god. The word would be god. My word. Then my word would be- oh. That's, that's a really awkward way to phrase this. I guess this is an internal memo, but like, come on, dude, you can write better than this. Not the word of a corporation, still. They have their uses. My research is funded by Kane and the Groom Lake Project. It's kept running by the money and personnel they provide. The time will come when this changes. You mock my words. I'm inundated. Emails from all departments about inconsistencies with storage and contaminated samples. This grand masquerade is sometimes more tedious than it's actually worth. Worst of all was Dr. Wei and that technician. Miss Callister, was it? Ugh, I normally make such work of such troublemakers, but hardly seems worthwhile. Troublemakers must be allowed to make trouble, because if they disappear, that legitimizes their claim and somebody will always take up their fallen crusader's torch. Dr. Backman's tendencies are becoming harder to restrain. Well aware of his shortcomings, the old man is as brilliant as he is deranged, and he manages to go about his work with a sociopathic glee. He's useful to have around. He's requested more bodies for C, specifically more women who are recently pregnant. That is problematic, as we have very few such women on board, and imports are not easy to come by. May have to play this one under the radar. That fool Dr. Gray complained yet again about his beloved insects becoming more aggressive as a result of power outages. So what? Let them spill out onto the decks as far as I'm concerned. The importance of seed outranks the hydroponics project work by a thousand to one. I do like playing chess with Dr. Gray, of course. I win every time. Little fact he's unlikely to tell anyone. Though he does seem quite happy to contact anyone who's interested. With the opinion he'd be the next best candidate for my job. Sebastian, you would not, could not, handle what I do. If you believe otherwise, then you're as great a fool as I imagine you to be. For the day that I foresee comes, your rotting corpse will be under my feet. And I will laugh. Dr. Williams is under the delusion that I don't know about her personal research. Officially, it's illegal for staff to conduct their own research, but this is interesting. Recreating her dead lover in the form of a hybrid? How fascinating. If it works, I'll make use of it. If it doesn't, then I'll burn it with the rest of the rejects. 
woman is obsessed, and I know that Dr. DeSantos is playing no small part in feeding her delusions. I know her secret research won't cause me any problems, or I never would have allowed her on Project C. So it seems, contaminated waste from the corpse disposal overspill is a contaminating the ship, causing a fungal growth so my various drones tell me. The fungus is a riveting proposition, though. Well, I'm angry at Dr. Beckman for terminating more subjects than strictly necessary. Those unintended side effects are fascinating. I intimated as much to Dr. Gray, and of course I stroked his ego with hints of promotion and glory. We'll keep the fungus alive. The engineers want it destroyed, but I'm sure we can delay that. This experiment is becoming more engaging by the day, and I haven't even had to lift a finger. So while they clog up my inbox with demands and Rome burns, I plan to play the violin. More than secure here anyway, this has a certain inevitability about it. I must record the daily developments as the experiment grows. It is as I foresaw. Panic, destruction, mayhem. And yet the seed continues apace. Once the fervor and the flame dies down, we'll sweep the decks of Detris and repurpose all for my beautiful hybrid creations. No more growing plants for the good of mankind. God is no longer in the machine, my friend. I am God. My beautiful children have excelled themselves. They kill, they learn, they adapt. A primal species without any of the trappings of morality. It is their time now. They almost came to be once many years ago, but were snuffed out by humanity, afraid of its natural successors. This systematic extermination was given a name, the Eugenics Wars. The public knew it as a corporate warfare. In truth, it was a coronated genocide. Humanity wasn't ready for Professor Giron's astounding discovery and sought to destroy it. His work was not perfect, of course. That's where I came in. I spent most of my life as part of Kane, trying to access Professor Giron's original work. Old man Kane pushed me to top, pushed me to the top because we shared an ideal. The utilization of science for the perfection of humanity, where we deferred were the methods by which it was to be achieved. Not that he had much more to say after I held that pillow to his face as he lay in his hospital bed. All for a higher purpose. Creation of our species from raw subjects will become impossible now that the crew are dead, dying, or unclean, but that's hardly an issue. Any subjects who were flawed or imperfect have been turned into the fertilizer that will nurture the perfection of the surviving race. Now the challenge is moving the Groom Lake out of range of any other ships. No one can be allowed to escape this ship alive. Any good, strong survivors will become members of the new race. I am their creator. I control. I transcend. Yeah, Dr. Milan is, uh, very villain-coded. Um, one might even say he has a bit of a god complex. I, I'm just kind of getting just the, just the whiff of it, you know, uh, kind of feels like he owns someone just for saving them. Just, just kind of getting those vibes from what I see. The Santos. I'm so very disappointed in you. A distress signal? I thought we were of one mind here in Seed. I'll castrate and destroy you for this betrayal. Your flawed body is hardly worthy of becoming one of my children. But for now, I must turn off this accursed signal. You cannot hide from me, Marvin, you drug-peddling little fuck. Um, let 
let's see what the strap down creature does. Who was Marvin? Um, uh, Marvin, 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 Marvin. Which message was it that was mentioning Marvin? I have like contextual memory. Marvin or Milan? Now this one was Robert Lincoln. So this is the PDA of um, Milan, who's been the antagonist. The guy who, in that last cutscene, was threatening our daughter and wife. Um, he was like the head of all of the ship. Marvin, the dread. Oh, oh, Marvin, you drunk. Um. Let me see. I think Marvin was either the psychiatrist or he was the surgeon. We definitely have not seen uh, Marvin's PDA in a while. I think at this point we've basically um, touched the PDA of m most every character that's been mentioned. Um, I'm going to go ahead and save just in case. Ugh. Um, let me use this stick. Nope. What about bone mending glue? No. What if I slag gun it? Nope. What if I beat it with an empty pistol? This isn't gonna work. Uh huh. All right. Doesn't seem like we can do anything. He's jamming at hyperspeed? Yeah! So we came from up. Right, that was... Maybe we can go down here? Just return, what is this, an exorcism? Um, something's happening to it, that's for sure. So that shows full power. I wonder if we need to, like, remove the power. I don't think that'll work. Let me break this glass it wall. Fit, but it may break. There's, uh, we've finally come upon I all of the hybrid experiments it, it break. that uh, Dr. Milan has been doing. All right, so we're up here. Hold on, stop. Where is our character going? Oh, there it is, power cell housing. I see. Closure stands empty. Re awaits at a replacement power cell. Awaits a replacement power cell. So I probably need to get three power cells. But... Uh, ow. Surgical laser? It's some true fuckery. Breaking all sorts of rules. I haven't seen a single exit sign this whole time. 
I bet they don't even check their shark boxes either. They even have biohazard bin? Oh. Uh, the biohazard bin were the friends we experimented on along the way. You know? Uh, I mean, we've, we're starting to see some biohazard signs, but it's not like it's a sharp bin. Um, like the power cell things, there have been like a key looking apparatus, but I have not seen any fucking like key to pick up. The biohazard bin was all of hydroponics. <laughs> hmm. We got power cell that I would want to remove from here. Oh, the glue. And then I made an imprint of the housing lock. Just crazy. Okay, so now I need to turn Ugh. this into an actual. All right, so I have an imprint of it. Now I need to turn the imprint into an actual solid key. I don't think that'll work. Um, hmm. do I cook it? No. All right, I need to harden. Maybe I just need to harden the glue. Hmm. I mean, I kind of thought that I was expecting the glue to be like a, I don't know. I didn't think that would actually do anything, but making an imprint does actually kind of make sense. Hmm. I just don't know how I'm going to turn this no. into... This isn't gonna work. No, I didn't mean to step on that. Damn it, Drecky. Gotta be something I can use it on. Can I use it on the alien? I think that would break. Can I use it on that? I don't know what I was thinking there. Nope. I did that earlier! You fuck. Fuck you. Fuck you, game. Well, that John woke up on the ship and not I, because I would have just sat there gluing my fingers together. <laughs> to be fair, some of these puzzles are a little obtuse. All right, apparently we just fucking use this, I bet. That makes perfect sense. Yeah. All right. One power cell.
That's fine. Um, and then the last one, baby. Your suffering is at an end. We don't need that elevator. Right? Yeah, yeah, we already took the elevator all the way down. We definitely won't need to go back up. All right, baby. You have to make this a cutscene. Oh. Well, that makes like three people we've mercy killed now. Great. Fantastic. John is gonna need so much therapy. And I don't think Kane Corporation is gonna pay for any of it. I think, I'm not sure all of them were awake. I was counting uh, the hydroponics woman, uh, that lady in there, and I'm pretty sure there was another person um, earlier in the game as well. All right, let's power up this alien, see what happens. Not really sure. Okay, before I plug this third one in, I'm gonna save just in case things are about to go sideways. No, crazy. I didn't want you to use it on yourself. I wanted you to put it in there, John. John, I want you to j j j jam it in. All right, our alien is fully powered. What's he gonna do? Oh, surgical laser. Wait, why are we using a surgical laser? Um. Do we count that as a mercy kill? Maybe? I feel like we count that as a mercy kill. this place up. I feel like we could have just turned it over there without like most of this lasering. Did you need to turn it on and then turn it? Like, come on, dude. Well, we made it through here. Warning, the environmental control and life support system has been compromised. Please report to the visitor center for further instructions. Destroy the lab. Oh, the visitor center. Oh, maybe they'll have like merch. We can get some cane laboratory like little, uh, you know, uh, candies or something. Maybe get some fresh fruits. Neural activity detected. Oh, are we infected by the fungus? Oh. You know, at least Kane Corporation is taking COVID uh, seriously. All right, you know, they make sure 
You know, anyone is masked up in this uh, room, you know, make sure, you know, you're all going to be in very close quarters. So it's very important. <laughs> Uh, I guess the only thing we can go to is the animal testing room. Unfortunately, we do not have a mask. Hmm. I swear to dog, are we about to get a fucking jump scare? Oh, fuck! Restaurants on levels two and three are now. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm perfectly fine. I'm very normal. I'm very fine. and hydrate. Uh-oh, Dr. Milan got us. We weren't wearing a mask! Fuck! Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, thank you for the head pats and the boops. Um. Oh, no, 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 no. Um... Help? Doctor? Doctor, help? Not you, Milan, the other doctor. The one that was actually, you know, helping us. Where is she? Oh yeah, this is Doctor Milan. He's the one responsible for all the, uh, human experimentation. I know why you're here. I don't know what you're talking about. Bullshit! Listen, Milan. Doctor Malan. Let's discuss this rationally. Enough! I'll see you uh, soon, I feel like Dr. Milan doesn't Give respond to ration. Mr. Maracek, you sneaky bastard. Not to worry, I can speed up this Mr. little family reunion. Anderson. What have you done with Rebecca? She's right, yeah. Oh, it's a Stargate. Lock the chevrons. Oh. You took away my life's work, Mr. Maracek. Now let me oh, return no. the favor. No, no, no. Oh, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Enjoy the show. I'm off to deal with Judas. Rebecca? No! Fuck! 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 No, 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 no! Oh! No! Oh, no!
Covering it up. There it goes. The amazing ones are not detonated. Oh, what a fucking grim. Oh, I'm not feeling good. Scanning. Can you get out of there? Dispose of biological material for processing at recycling station 0314. Sleep now, my angel. Oh, that's not going to be sanitary. Uh, yeah, this should be fine. <clears throat> oh, I guess it was. John? Huh? Oh, I think I missed the Are death. I could have fallen into the acid. Yes. Damn. I found her. The wife is in the military room. I'm on my way there. <laughs> John is not okay, uh, for very understandable reasons. Guess <laughs> they were left down here to die. A whole lot of acid. Yikes. I have John put on the glove. Nope, he didn't really put it on. Shake on this other metal grating, maybe it'll come loose. Nope. Great. G great. Fantastic. Um me what the Use the glove on acid. It, oh, I think I use it on acid, and then I can. Stop. No lights. Keep your head down and stay away from the walls. And listen, you'll hear him before you see him. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. It's not really how that works, but okay. Seems kind of dangerous to fill up a glove with acid and then try and dump that acid on some bars. I don't think that's uh, how that's supposed to work. Um. 
too close. That was too goddamn close. Calm yourself. Panic and you won't make it. Focus. Breathe. Now wait for John to be the uh, voice of reason at this moment. Loud. Come in. I can hear you. I made it. I'm in a storage locker. I don't think they saw me. I'll contact you when I'm clear. I'll be waiting. Warning. The oxygen processor has experienced a critical failure. Report to the visitor center. center for immediate evacuation. So hold on. Yeah, prosthetic arm. All right, I think we need to use that to bridge the short. What the fuck was that? Something's still over there? I don't think that'll work. I certainly feel like I saw La Cretura. Oh, come on, dude! Okay! <laughs> we got a... Another one for the collection, that was yeah. Down close. Calm yourself. Panic and you won't make it. Focus. Breathe. Ow. Shit, Tia. Come in. I made it. I'm in a storage locker. I don't think they saw me. I'll contact you when I'm clear. I'll be waiting. Alright, um... Warning. The oxygen processor has experienced a critical failure. Report to the visitor center for immediate evacuation. Alright, since it doesn't save again, we'll go ahead and save. I need to do something before I put it in? Maybe it's a timing thing. Ah! Nope, that didn't work. Alright. Calm yourself. Panic and you won't make it. Focus. Come on, let me load, let me load.